Good afternoon, folks. This is Gabriel Jack, and welcome to BGC Mitzvah Day number eight. Using the Sefer Chinuch, a Mitzvah Day keeps your soul its way. The prohibition to leave over meat of the Pesach offering. As the verse says, you shall not leave any of it until morning. Any of it that is left until morning, you shall burn in fire. This is from Exodus, Parsha's bow. As a general rule, sacrificial offerings have a limited time during which the meat of the offering may be consumed. After this time, whatever is left over is known as nosar and must be burned. This mitzvah specifically addresses the law with regard to the Pesach offering. We are commanded not to leave over anything from the meat of the Pesach offering, which is slaughtered on the 14th of the Jewish month of Nisan, until the following day, which is the daytime of the 15th of Nisan. As it is stated in reference to the meat of the Pesach offering, you shall not leave any of it until morning. The underlying purpose of the mitzvah, among the underlying purposes, purposes of this mitzvah is that which is written above regarding the slaughter of the Pesach, mitzvah number five, which is to recall the miracles that Hashem performed on our behalf in Egypt at the time of the Exodus. This is the common purpose with regard to mitzvahs of the Pesach offering in general. And as for this particular mitzvah, in which we are commanded not to leave over any of the meat until the morning, the idea is that we are to act in the manner of kings and ministers who do not leave any of their cooked dishes from one day to the next day. They don't leave it over. The end of the verse states, any of it that is left until morning you shall burn in fire. The Chinach, the author, explains that this too is based on the same principle. Therefore, the verse states that if one violates this prohibition and leaves over any of the Pesach meat until the morning, it is to be burned like something that is unwanted. This too, in the manner of the kings of the land, is like the manner of the kings of the land, who dispose of their leftovers due to their lack of need and desire for them. All this is designed to have one recall and install in his heart that at the time of the Exodus, the Almighty Hashem redeemed us from slavery and we were made into free men and further merited a status of royalty and grandeur. The laws of the mitzvah, the law of this mitzvah is set forth in Tracti Psachim, the applicability of the mitzvah. This mitzvah is applicable to both men and women in the times of the base of Megdash, the temple. One who transgresses this mitzvah and leaves over any of its meat until the morning has violated a prohibition. However, one does not incur malchus, the lashes, for violating this prohibition, since it is remedied by a mitzvah obligation, as it is stated in the end of the verse containing this prohibition, any of it that is left over until morning, you shall burn in fire. And this is a general rule that any prohibition that is remedied by a mitzvah obligation, any negative that can be fixed with a positive, is not one for which one incurs Malchus lashes. And that was your mitzvah. Thanks for listening. Response to future mitzvah. 36, 100 for the gold. See you tomorrow.